Solo Board Gaming Night, and tonight we're going to be unboxing World of Warcraft Wrath of the Lich King. I'm going to go ahead and just start by looking at the actual artwork. Uh, one thing that intrigues me a lot from this game in particular is the artwork. Uh, another thing is that I've never played a pandemic style game. Uh, personally, the theme of pandemic doesn't resonate with me. However, this fantasy world of World of Warcraft does. And I'm very interested in finding out whether or not this type of game, uh, this pandemic system type of game, is, is going to be something that I'm going to enjoy. Time will tell. I'm not sure yet. But just when it comes to the art alone, it really does call my attention. So here's a look at the back. I'm going to try to remove that glare. And uh, I, it seems really, really interesting. I like that it actually has minis here. So let's go ahead and uh, let's open it up and see what it, what it what's inside. All right. I like that the box, it, there, there's some heft to this box. This is not a cheap feeling box. It's, it's kind of thick and I do... I do like that. Let me actually bring this down a little bit so we can start seeing what we're looking at here. All right. We have our roll book. And it seems that we're going to have to be building a citadel. There's a few things that we're going to have to be building. The roll book, there's how many pages to it? There's 11 pages to it. Let's see if it has anything. The art in this in this rule book. Holy smokes. Let's just do a little quick just in case. The illustration. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, I like that so much. That really like gets me in the mood to learn the game and want to know what it's about. I have a feeling just by... Just by the way it looks, it's definitely something that really calls my attention. I love when robots show illustrations, like actually show you what they're talking about. So like, for example, if they're talking about a specific card, they'll actually show you what it looks like. So you know what to look for uh, as you're learning the game. Uh, I really, really like what I see so far. The art is a plus for me so far. Oh, uh, what is this? This is the boards to punch out the citadel. I wonder if it's gonna fit back in the box once everything is said and done. I'm actually gonna figure that out. And is this the game board? This is the game board. This thing looks giant, ginormous. Let's open this. Let's see what the, what it looks up. Like, how much space it takes. Up. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Hold on. What? Wow, no way. It really is that thing. Hold on. Get out of here. Whoa, the thing just keeps going. What is this? No way. I would have never. I'm, I'm moving things on the top. <laughs> I would have never imagined. I would have never imagined that the... Is missing something here, is it? Or is it just that I didn't unfold it all the way? I guess there's something else that, oh, it's right here. Holy smokes. This is huge. This is pretty giant. Let me go ahead and just move this out of the way so you could have a good idea of how big it is. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that at all. That's a really, really, really big board. Let me go ahead and, <laughs> let me go ahead and put that, oh, I might as well just leave the board here, right? Might as well, I already have it out. All right, you know, since we're, let's go ahead and try to build this. I'll be right back in a second. Let me just see what this looks like. 
So I went ahead and I built the Citadel. And that's what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and place it here. I'm guessing that's where it would belong. And uh, yeah, it looks, it looks really cool. I kind of liked it. Also, it came with these little strongholds. Uh, they were not difficult to build at all. Nothing was difficult to build. It was really, really simple to put together. And I ended up getting a little baggie so that I could place the tokens that came with the, with the game, which there really aren't many. It's just literally a handful of tokens right here. There's not a lot of tokens at all. I'm just going to go ahead and fit that inside the baggie. And it's going to be a, a quick way to be able to pick everything up. So that's what you have to build. And uh, I'm gonna quickly look, oh, I really, really like these minis. Surprisingly, very high quality, very good. Very good minis, I love them. These have like some, these have sickles with them. Check this out. <laughs> I was looking at it before I actually got to uh, show you. Nice detail. Loved it. So well done. Wow. There's three of these big guys. So let's put them here. That one's a little wobbly. And then we have ourselves uh, some sort of markers. Well, actually, let's keep going with the little minis. I'm not going to take all of these out. I think these are all the same. I believe they're all the same. They look like they're all the same. There are these very, very tiny, tiny little, let's see, they're really, really tiny. And I don't know how many there are, but there's a lot of them. I'll show you. There's an entire bag full of them. All right, and they are all the same. I'm gonna leave that here. Um, now I have a box here. Okay, and this box contains a huge figure. This must be the Lich King. And look at the detail on this. No way, this is unreal. This is really, really good. I, I'm, I'm gonna say I was not expecting this type of quality. I really, really am shocked, kind of amazed by it. And now these must be the heroes that we're going to be able to choose. Let me go ahead, I'll just show them to you one by one. There's a few of them. Once again, the detail, come on. This is, this is unreal. No way. This is wonderful. This is just wonderful. I love it. I really, really love it. Like, first impressions, haven't played the game. But like, as as just how the game makes me feel by unboxing it. I love it. Among one of the better ones that I own. Really, really well done. It's just, they're so well done so far. I haven't seen any figures being warped, knock on wood. Oh, just the detail, come on, no way guys. No way. It's beautiful. Okay, his horn's broken. <laughs> it's like, it's supposed to be that way. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of cool. I like it. I'm sorry I'm taking my time with it. I'm just literally in real time. I am actually enjoying myself right now. I'm enjoying unboxing this and looking at the minis. I want to say it was a very, very neat surprise. I was not expecting it. So 
I'm not even going to apologize for that. I'm just, I'm just shocked. Wow, this is great. This is, this is fantastic. No way. Look at that. Come on. Whoa. Just dropped it. No way. This is wonderful. I love it. I love it. There's still two more. That's cool. <laughs> I, really liked it. I really liked it. I did not expect to like it as much as I do right now. Oh man, that detail. Come on. Get out of here. <laughs> so cool. Put that guy there. And this is the last one. He's got like a buster sword. Nice. Nice. Now I don't know the characters. I don't know the lore. I don't know much about World of Warcraft. Uh, I do enjoy the theme, however. The characters look right up my alley. They have like a... Lord of the Ringish feel to it. And that's it for, yeah, that's it for the, the characters, the minis. Uh, but we do have, there's a baggie with some markers and some dice. Let me go ahead and just show you what the dice look like. Now, I haven't played the game, and I don't know what to expect by it. But, uh, so far, it seems like I might like it very, very much. This is, this is exactly the type of game I enjoy having. So, almost done here. Um, there's some cards here. It looks like some sort of... I want to say objectives, but I'm not too sure. Let me just take take it out so I could show them off. And here we are. Let me sit down a little bit. I'm standing up because this thing is giant. Vault of Arcavon. I'm not even going to try to pronounce these names. <laughs> Make a fool out of myself. All right. I'm going to try this one. Gundrak. It's pretty easy. Agent Tournament. The art is really, really fascinating. I love it. I really, really do. Wow, it's colorful too. Oh, what is this? The Lich King Citadel. Oh, here are character cards. Jaina, Proudmore. Hmm. Saw what they did there with the name. Oh, there's a back. Hold on. Oh, they'll let you know which her which mini belongs to her. Oh, that's cool. You know, because sometimes it's really hard to distinguish the minis from the actual characters that you'll see like a picture of them but then the minis is like wait which one is it lady liadrin liadrin nice we have marauding bronze beard oh that's the guy with the broken the broken horn we know what he looks like we have uh sylvanus wind windrunner I like her, I like her, um, her art. Oh, yeah, the one with the tethered raincoat. Or, uh, coat. Then we have Thrall. Oh, I know who Thrall is. I did watch that subpar movie. I believe he was in there. We have... Tyrion Ford, Fordring, or Fordring, I think it's Fordring, Let's see what his miniature looked like, oh yeah, he was cool, I liked him, Varian 
wine or oh, rhine oh yeah, that's how you see it yeah and that's so much for i guess what you can call the you can call the the objectives and the actual character cards let's just place that nicely here so i could take a nice little quick picture of it later on stop moving and now we have some cards here i'm not gonna go through all of them but let's just take oh wow that art oof man So good and colorful too. The cardstock feels good too. It's not it's not flimsy, it's not cheap. Almost feels and you see, uh, if you've played Imperial of Assault, it kind of has that texture to it. Like Journeys in Middle Earth type texture, you know, kind of thick cardstock. Man, dude, for real, dude. This is crazy. I love, love that art. That's great. <laughs> this, uh, I'm just like looking at, I gotta make sure that I'm not going too slow because I feel like I'm just like looking at them. So good. It kind of has gotten me really excited. Uh, the last time that I, 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 I unboxed the game, that had really, really good art was that Gargoyles Awakening, I want to call it. I want to say it is. It wasn't as good of a game as it looked when I was unboxing it. I was super excited for what I was seeing. And this game has kind of given me that same feeling of excitement. However, the difference being, I think I may enjoy this game a lot more. And I hope that's the case. But I think I may enjoy this game a lot more than than gargoyles that's that's what i'm hoping for anyway i mean it seems like i'm gonna like it it really does this is great i guess this is a movement card some and an attack card over here in my thumb very nice i'm enjoying this highly i'm highly enjoying this it's like a, a, an actual real unboxing. Like I actually feel that I'm really, really just appreciating what I'm seeing. Um, admittedly, I've seen a few videos of this game, like an unboxing, but I never really paid it to number one, this board. Jeez, dude, this is unreal. The board is huge and I didn't see the art in the cards. So like me seeing it now, potion, I guess, consumable, nice. It's just so good looking. Like, I don't feel, I don't feel like if the pictures are generic and I don't know, maybe somebody on uh, uh, watching this is screaming at me saying that this looks generic. It doesn't look generic to me. It looks great. Like, there were, were there even any repeats? It felt like every card was unique. No way, this is surreal. Every card was unique. I don't, I don't think I saw any repeats. Wait, watch me. There's still one more, one more deck I have to open. Watch, that's where all the repeats are going to be. So let's see if, let's see if I'm right or wrong about that. I don't think I saw strongholds in the. This is crazy. This is crazy. Oh here. Oh, I love when I love it when uh, games give you a, a. Oh no, this is. I was gonna say this is a reference card. It's not. This looks like some sort of objectives that how the game's gonna fight you. I guess. Oh, this is great, man. This looks so good. Come on. I'm like, I'm like getting mad. Like, why, why is it so good? It shouldn't be that good. It's beautiful. Wow. 
no way. This is this is unreal, dude. I, I can't believe this. Are these quests? I don't know what this is. It's, it'll make sense once I end up... It'll make sense once I end up actually learning how to play the game, I'm sure. I don't know what this is. This is all the different locations that exist. Maybe that's how... Maybe that's how you populate the map with whatever bad guys or enemies or orcs or whatever they are. Yeah, that's what it seems like to me. And there's quite a few too. So maybe that's for variety's sake. It seems like it's quite a lot. Oh, is this a reference card? Yeah, this these are reference cards, right? Yeah. You get to move, fight, quest, and rest. Free action, stronghold, the Lich King. Oh, I, I like it when games give good player reference cards. There's four of them. Wait, no, five of them. So far, very, very impressive. Like, incredibly impressive. I, I don't even think I have to sleeve these. These are, they feel really, really good. And then this is the inside of the box. Like, this is the back of the box, right? Oh, the insert. It's like a map. Let me see if I could get that on camera. It's like a map of, I guess, the location where we're supposed to be. It's really, really cool. Like, well done. Bravo. Who did this? Z-Man Games. Bravo to them. That is, I mean, is... Is, is the pandemic series given this type of attention? I don't know if I end up liking this game as much as I think I will. I might have to take a look at, at the pandemic legacy now or just the pandemic games in general. So yeah, that's everything that comes in the game. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. I loved it. Wow, like... like Component-wise, quality-wise, I'm going to have to say 10 out of 10 right there. Very, very well made, well done. It's great. Please don't let me down, board game. Please don't let me down. Because <laughs> this is fantastic. I loved it. Well, for now, I guess that's it for me. This was the unboxing. It completes this unboxing of World of Warcraft, Wrath of the Lich King. This was solo board gaming night. I can't wait to actually get this on the table, learn how to play it, and like come back with a future video letting you know, giving you a review and letting you know what I thought about it. I have a feeling I'm going to like it, but who knows? Maybe, maybe it'll, it'll be another gargoyle situation, but something tells me that's not the case with this. So let's see. This was solo board gaming night. Thank you so much for spending some time with me, and I hope you guys all have a great game night. Take care.